Today I've got a super fun video for you guys and if you love Christmas movies, you are not gonna wanna miss this. So I know that it's after Christmas, but I asked you guys if you wanted me to still post this video and you said yes, so here we are. I did, uh, I think one of the most fun traditions that I've ever started. Yes, I'm like patting myself <laughs> on the back, but our family loves Christmas movies and our favorites are Home Alone, Christmas Vacation, and Elf. And so what I thought would be super fun this year was to basically do a party all day where we watched cr these Christmas movies and then I made food from all of the movies. So I did a bunch of research online. Pinterest had a lot of good ideas. I got some printables off of Etsy. I found some different like memes and different things like that. And I don't know, this is super fun. I had a lot of fun doing this. I posted it on Instagram um, when I was doing it. So, I, and you guys like really liked it as well. So basically we're gonna make breakfast, lunch, and dinner all Christmas movie inspired. So we're gonna make some donuts from home alone and then for lunch I'm doing Uncle Frank's and uh, you smell like beef and cheese and then for dinner we're doing the macaroni and cheese and the pizza from home alone so I hope you guys take some ideas from this uh, please steal them for your own family and let's get started so for breakfast this morning we are making chocolate donuts from the scene in home alone so in this bowl I've got some flour cocoa powder sugar baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And I did sift the cocoa powder and then I weighed all the ingredients with uh, my kitchen scale, what the recipe recommended. So I'll link all of the tools that I use and obviously all of the recipes that I use in this video down below in case you guys wanna recreate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk the dry ingredients. Okay, so for the wet ingredients, we're gonna put those in a separate bowl here. So I've got four tablespoons of melted butter, which I'm apparently gonna make a mess with. <laughs> and then I need one and a quarter cups of whole milk, one large egg, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna whisk this together. And then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients into the wet. We're gonna combine this until everything is mixed together. And then I'm gonna transfer this to a gallon Ziploc bag so I can pipe it into the donut pans. Okay, so I've got my donut pans here. These are non-stick donut pans. It's definitely something that I don't use very often, but when I need it, they obviously come in very handy. I actually picked these up from Goodwill, but you can find them on Amazon as well. So I'm gonna use the Baker's Joy nonstick spray with flour to uh, grease these donut pans. And you definitely wanna make sure that you grease these well. This is not the time to skimp on your cooking spray uh, because they will, in fact, stick <laughs> if you don't grease them well. Okay, and then I've got my donut batter in here. I'm just gonna snip off uh, the corner of one of the Ziploc bags, and then you just wanna pipe these as evenly as you can into there. Don't overfill them, uh, because then they will puff up and you won't have a hole in the center of your donut. I also apologize if you can hear bacon frying, but Definitely donuts are not a complete breakfast in my book, so. <laughs> I think my kids would probably beg to differ and say that donuts are indeed a complete breakfast. <laughs> but for Adam and I, we're gonna need some bacon and eggs. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna give these a tap on the counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into a 350 degree oven, bake them for eight to 10 minutes until they're just cooked through. Okay, so the donuts are out of the oven. They took exactly 10 minutes and you can see that they're very uh, puffy and they're done. So we're gonna let these cool in the pans for five minutes and then we're gonna, we should be able to just turn them over onto 
a wire rack and they'll pop right out. Fingers crossed. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze for the donuts. So in this bowl, I've got two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips and then two tablespoons of heavy cream. The recipe says to do this over a double boiler on the stove, but I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave at like 30 second increments and keep stirring it and it'll do just the same thing. So you can see this is super smooth and all melted together now. You do have to just stir it quite a bit until it all comes together. But that's gonna be the chocolate glaze for these donuts. So all you wanna do is take a donut like this, drop it in the glaze, and then pick it back up, and boom, you've got your chocolate glaze on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dunk all these, and then we will top some of them with sprinkles. One thing I was gonna to mention too is you do wanna make sure that your donuts are completely cool before you glaze them, otherwise the um, frosting or the glaze won't set up. Obviously since it's Christmas, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate these Christmas themed, but obviously if you're doing these on any other holiday, um, you can decorate them for that too. What's, that's what's so great about like cupcakes and donuts and stuff like that is that you can really customize them. So for some of them, I'm gonna do red and green M&Ms. And then I've also got my collection of holiday sprinkles so we'll probably do some like that as well and then i'm probably going to leave just a couple plain i know this is probably sacrilegious but i don't really care for sprinkled donuts and i want to eat one at least one that's just <laughs> plain So we're gonna go ahead and let these uh, cool and harden, and then I'll go ahead and put them on a, a pretty Christmas tray. The kids are not even awake yet, so hopefully they'll be hard by the time they wake up. So for lunch, I thought it would be fun to just kind of do a variety of like snacky foods and appetizers. So of course I had to have beef summer sausage for the quote from Elf where <laughs> Buddy the Elf tells Santa that he smells like beef and cheese. So essentially I got a beef summer sausage from the store and I just cut that in half and then sliced it into thin slices. And then I also got a cheese tray from the store. I was trying to kind of cut down on the amount of prep that I had to do for this particular day, obviously, since I was gonna be cooking all day, which that worked out fine. And so I just basically put everything on one of my Christmas trays. This is actually an aluminum Christmas tray that I've had for many years. I think if you actually look at the date on it, it says it was made in the 80s. It was given to me by my grandma. So I set out some Ritz crackers and some cheese and the beef summer sausage. I also made Franks or hot dogs for the Uncle Frank character in Home Alone. These are actually bagel dogs. So you can get these at, well, you can get them at a lot of places. I think I got these at Walmart, but basically you just uh, kind of bake them in the oven and they're pretty good. Or actually these might be pretzel dogs. I'm sorry, whatever. Same thing, not really, but these are pretzel dogs and so I just kind of brush them with a little bit of water and then I'm just sprinkling them with some pretzel salt that I had on hand. And I also did cook some vegan corn dogs for my daughter who is a pescatarian. And then I saw on Pinterest where someone had an elf party and they got the EL Fudge uh, Keebler cookies from the store and set those out and I thought that was so cute. I actually remember getting these cookies like once in a while as a treat when we were kids 
kids and um, I love them. I actually tried them and I'm like, these don't taste as good as when I was a kid, but whatever. <laughs> I also wanted to set out some veggies and dip just for kind of a fresher option and to have some roughage. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut up some peppers. And I have this uh, snowman dish actually that my mom got me from Target many years ago. And it's perfect for veggies and dip and things like that. So I just cut up some bell peppers. I also had some pre-washed broccoli in the fridge. So I went ahead and cut that up. Up, along with some cauliflower and then some cucumber as well. Then I added some baby carrots and this is what our little uh, veggie crudite appetizer plate looked like. Um, I didn't have really movies to go with this so I just printed off a photo um, and a quote from Christmas Vacation and added some ranch dressing on the side. So when my bagel dogs were done I went ahead and put those on my Christmas platter. I can link these Christmas dishes down below. I bought them on sale after Christmas. I think it was actually last year I'd always wanted Christmas dishes. So all of these tableware items I got most of them at Walmart except for the Christmas Christmas vacation napkins, which I can, I got those on Amazon. I can link them down below. So here are our veggies and our cookies and our Uncle Frank's and the beef and cheese platter as well. So I thought it would be super fun to just kind of make a little display of Buddy's spaghetti. And if you've never watched Elf before, uh, it's it's so funny. There's a scene where he actually eats spaghetti with the family, except he puts like a bunch of stuff on top of it. So I actually looked to see what uh, a proper buddy's spaghetti would be. And I actually had all the ingredients. The only thing I actually didn't have was the candy corn and the pop tarts. I don't really buy pop tarts <laughs> very much if at all and I tried to find Christmas candy corn at the store and alas I could not but the kids thought it was super funny and I dared them to taste it but no one wanted to. So we couldn't have a Home Alone movie night and recipes without <laughs> the Stouffer's mac and cheese. So I have never purchased this large of a pan of Stouffer's mac and cheese before but I have to say I do really like it i mean i've bought the individual servings before just for like quick lunches and stuff but this from frozen it bakes for about 55 minutes at 400 so i went ahead and put it on a cookie sheet or a baking tray just because i wanted to make sure that it didn't you know leak all over my oven um, but yeah this is what we're gonna have for dinner along with pizza and some other things so you cannot make a home alone dinner without a lovely cheese pizza just for me and since it's christmas eve we're uh clearly not going to be ordering pizza for delivery although we probably could i don't know i don't the roads are bad here and it's super cold and i don't want to make people drive in that so i've got two of these stuffed crust pizzas that i just picked up at the store so these cook at 425 for about 18 minutes so i've got one cheese and one pepperoni I'm sure Kira will appreciate the cheese and Connor will appreciate the pepperoni. So these actually say to bake them on a baking pan. Normally I just bake pizzas on the oven rack, but I guess in this case I'll probably go ahead and follow the directions. So I also thought it would be fun with dinner to sit out the four main food groups for elves, uh, which is candy canes, candy corns, syrup, and what else? Yeah, candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. However, I could not find any candy corns, like I said, so I got Skittles instead. So we had to have the green jello from Aunt Bethany. So I just got some jello cups and put some um, whipped cream on top of them. I saw online where some people had added Cheerios to look like the kitty litter, but I didn't have any on hand. So I just put the sign by that. So this is what we had for our dinner. We had the mac and cheese with the uh, shrimp cocktail, of course, from Home Alone, the pizza from Home Alone. We had cheese and pepperoni um, this was super fun I have never had so much fun cooking for a whole day um, and yes you know 
it, it wasn't probably the healthiest food, but this was Christmas and, you know, I kind of went off my calorie restriction for the day and the kids thought it was super fun and we watched all of the Christmas movies uh, together. So if you're looking for a fun idea to do with your family on Christmas, um, I highly recommend this. It was super fun. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.